Ed Morse Automotive Group of Missouri, with locations in Lebanon, St. Robert, and Rolla, proudly presents Ozark Traditions TV. Closed captioning for Ozark Traditions TV is brought to you by Adam Williams of Show Me Dents. Sunrise, dew is on the field. Birds are singing, welcome back, my friend. As I look around at nature's majesty, I thank God that I live in this land of the free. Those are traditions in the great outdoors. Hunting with my family, who could ask for more? Seeds of passion like those who've gone before. Those are traditions in the great outdoors. Wandering down a riverbank or walking in a field, hand in hand with my kid, it's not. Ozark Traditions TV is brought to you by Ed Morris Automotive Group of Missouri, Shadles Colonial Chapel, Redneck Blinds, Backwood Sportsman, and 4D Home Solutions. Welcome to Ozark Traditions TV. We've got another great Kansas deer hunt. Let's join Brothers River and Parker Master as a youth hunt for big bucks. And then we'll join Army veteran Cody McClellan as he tries for his late season buck in Kansas. First up on today's show, we have Parker Lee Master with the help of Natural Act Solutions' Darren Williams on getting Parker a big buck. With Parker getting settled in and deer entering the field, let's see if he can feel his Kansas tag. You need your eye cover. Okay, put your other hand on the gun. Hang on. Let him turn broadside. I can't find him. Okay. Don't fire. This buck shows up with several does. With the help of Darren trying to assist Parker on taking a shot, Parker suddenly comes down with a fever. Buck fever, that is. Next evening, Parker regroups with his brother River by his side in hopes of taking a nice buck. Tell me real quick what you're doing talking to the camera. Tell me what you're doing tonight. Uh, the cool has to go big buck. It's turned to youth season. Yeah. You want to tell everybody what your name is? Parker. What's your last name? Playmaster. Crazy nut. Yeah. <laughs> You got your brother River helping you. Yeah. What'd you do last night? Oh, uh, almost got a big buck. And why didn't we get it? I was bad buck fever too much. Like really bad buck fever. Like shaking, can't breathe type stuff. Yeah. All right. It's September 11th and we're sitting in here on the deer plot again tonight. It's a little warmer, but we're gonna see what happens. Are you the good luck charm? Absolutely. We're going to let the 30 odd six eat here tonight, though. We'll be right back with more Ozark Traditions TV right after these messages. 
Lindsay Chevy and Lindsay Ford are now Ed Morris Chevrolet and Ed Morris Ford of Lebanon. Hello, I'm David Bean, General Manager, and we're proud to be joining the Ed Morris team. I'm Teddy Morse, and my family has been saving folks money on vehicles for over 75 years, and we'd love to do the same for your family. While we have a new name, we still have the same friendly staff that you've come to know and trust. Join the millions who have already been backed by Morse and visit us today. So come see us, Ed Morse Chevrolet and Ed Morse Ford. Losing a loved one is painful, but at Shadle's Colonial Chapel, we make the hard times a little easier to bear. With affordable funeral and cremation services, we offer two spacious chapels, a full-service banquet area for families to gather, plus the latest technology for honoring your loved one. Our website has everything you need, from pre-arrangements to flowers, even a place to reminisce. Let us help you remember your loved one. Shadle's Colonial Funeral Chapel, the area's most often selected funeral service. Ozark Traditions TV is brought to you by Adam Williams of Show Me Dance, Radiance Safety Apparel, Napa Auto and Truck Parts with locations in Lebanon, Rolla, and St. James, Missouri, Natural Ag Solutions LLC, and Drag Time Extreme Deer Magic. Welcome back. Parker has a buck standing right where he had one last night, and he didn't shoot. Tonight's going to be a different story. Listen, listen. Did you see him pick up the shoulder? He's... Oh. Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. All right. We got River with us. Blood. Yep. Yep. Dude. So we're hunting here in youth season on September 11th. And my man put it down. What was, how many yards shot was that? That's where I shot. How far, Parker? That was a hundred yard shot. And you laid her right on that front shoulder like we told you to. Yep. It's supposed to be like right there. Yeah, but we'll let it slide this time and since you were only two inches off. You got anything you want to say? Mm -hmm. Not really. Not like, hey, this is cool or I'm excited. Yeah. I killed a big buck out here in the deer plot. What kind of, what kind of blind we hunting out of? Oh, redneck. redneck blind. Well, let's get him over here and get some pictures taken before it gets dark, okay? Sounds good. He laid the wood down to him right there on that front shoulder. He broke his front shoulder. He wasn't going nowhere. So, 2020 yeah. is in the books for Parker. Yeah. Awesome deer, man. Thanks. Nice shot. Well, folks, we're back in the blind. October 25th, River's got his crossbow. We're serious tonight. Well, we've been serious the last two nights, but we're real serious tonight. We had a nine pointer two nights ago, 15 yards from the blind, little indecision, and uh, couldn't quite decide on whether to shoot it or not. And uh, Decided to pass on him. So then we decided to pass on him. Well, I say we, River did. What'd you see last night about a 645 coming out of here? Saw so a 170. Yeah, easily 170. a 170. I don't know if he'd quite be 180, but. Uh, he was big, jumped the fence. It appears that uh, River may have made the right decision in passing that nine pointer up. Because, folks, we saw a monster last night. Uh, in the seven years that we've owned this property and been putting this ace in the whole plot out here, uh, it hands down was the biggest buck I've ever seen in this plot uh, while hunting. So, uh, what do you think? Are we going to pass that one up if he gets in here at 15 yards? Or? Absolutely not. Are we going to let him eat tonight? So, uh, 
Again, it's October 25th. We've got a pretty pretty decent north wind, about 12, 15 mile an hour, and it's getting chilly. So uh, stay tuned. I hope we can uh, hope Ace in the hole puts another one to rest out here. But uh, we had a pile of deer in here last night, and there was two out here when we climbed in the blind here this afternoon. So sit back and we'll see what happens. If this buck is a sign of things to come, well, it's going to get good. There you go. We'll be back with more Ozark Traditions TV right after these messages. When storms happen, call for the Home Solutions before you adjuster and let us check your roof. We promise to call back within 24 hours. Don't panic because we have your roof interests covered. Call 4D Home Solution at 531-0635. 4D Home Solutions is a family operation who always return your call and show up when we say so. Call 4D Home Solutions before you call anyone because we value your roof as much as you. Call 4D Home Solutions at 531-0635. Closed captioning for Ozark Traditions TV is brought to you by Adam Williams of Show Me Dents, your auto hell repair professional. Why settle for less when you can get the best at Show Me Dents? Ozark Traditions TV is brought to you by Glory Knock, Rock the Knock, B&D's Custom Mounts, building custom mounts for the average sportsman, Inventive Outdoors, Deer Crossing Archery and Post Pond, more than just a pawn store. Welcome back to OTTV. With this buck only 15 yards, River needs him to move away from the bell so he can get a clear shot. With the buck being a little on edge and moving away, Darren gets the yardage on him for River to take the shot. Parker? Yeah. All right, guys, we're recording. River? Yes, sir. Keep your light kind of on him, but yeah. tell me what just happened. We just found my buck. So how far did we trail him? Probably 150 yards. So are you glad you shot him? Absolutely. He's pretty big. All right, let's give me some light. And let's find, let's look have a look at this yeah. dude. Help him, River. I'm good, I'm good. That's a monster deer. Boys? Who gets to drag this dude up the hill? Yeah. River I do. does. I do. 
Look at the exit. River. Yeah. Talk to me. You got to tell the folks what happened. So we were setting in the blind and Darren said, don't freak out, but there's a shooter. And uh, he stepped out. He never would give me a shot. Finally gave me a shot at 40 yards. I smoked him right behind the shoulder. So what, what plot were we setting on? The ace and hole plot mix? Yes, sir. Parker killed his biggest deer Parker here. killed. Parker killed a 139 pointer. Yep. Parker's yep. along for the ride. Big dad right here, you gotta tell me what you think. I like it. I like it. He's done a good job. Smoked him. Right All right. Shoulder. Chat, I mean, uh, River. Yep. Excellent work, son. Thank good you. Good job. Thanks for taking me. Okay, folks, we're back at it. It's the second to last night of rifle season here in Kansas. We've got a terrible wind. We do have cold weather. And we can't hunt tomorrow night. So what do you think, Cody? You think we're going to get it done tonight? I sure hope so. Like you said, the, the wind ain't in our favor, but uh, I believe God's in our favor tonight. It's our That's last right. night, so uh, we're going to try and get it done. And like I said, like last time, I got my Mossberg... Uh, MVP Predator, 6.5 Creedmoor, we're going to play with today. and uh... The wonderful thing about Redneck Blinds is that every year we improve them by adding new features and accessories such as our new porch extension, ladder stabilizer, awning kits, magnetic curtain kits, acoustical foam panels, foam floors, green LED lights, and much more. Whether you want to upgrade your blind or purchase a new one, there has never been a better time. Visit redneckblinds.com and experience the redneck advantage. Hurry, everything is on sale now. Vertex Crossfire 2, uh, 6x18x44 by by today. i tell you what, it, is, uh, it almost feels like cheating too. It's a, it's a great scope, a great gun, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to use it today. What, what branch of the military were you in? I was Army. You were Army? Yes, sir. And you spent 12 months in Afghanistan? I spent 12 months in Afghanistan. Now, how, wh how long ago was that? That was in 2010. 2010? That's right. All right, folks, we're filming again tonight for Ozark Traditions TV. We're in East Central Kansas hunting out of a redneck blind. Stay tuned. We hope we get it done tonight. Darren had harvested a nice buck earlier in the season in the same field. Looks like Cody's going to get the chance to do the same. Creedmoor just barked. Tell me what you think. Could, I think I got a good shot on Can you tell me how many points it was? I think he was around 10. You think he's a 10 pointer? I think he's a 10 pointer. But uh, I do think uh, I, hit him, I hit him dead and hard. I don't know you how he kept, I don't know you how he kept running, but he did. You got him. So, I don't think we'll have to chase him too long. <laughs> All right, folks, that's the seventh buck we brought down in our group uh, this year. He's not a monster, but I'm gonna tell you what, it's been tough hunting. Yeah. And uh, hey, he's the last day of the season for Co us. Cody just put him down. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I'm sure. Folks, we finally found him. How long did that take? 45 minutes? At least. At least. Yeah, 
Yeah. Give us a rundown on what happened. Well, pulled the trigger, but I'd say he's probably right at 100 yards. Um, he was uh, quartering to me and uh, took the shot before <laughs> before he decided to smell us. And we, uh, the, like we said this morning or earlier, uh, the wind was not in our favor. No, it wasn't. And uh, so I took the first shot I could I could uh, get a good shot on him on, and 50 yards later, it paid off. I knew he didn't go far. No. We just didn't have a blood trail. No blood trail. Looks like the bullet's probably still in him. Yeah. Like I said, he was quarter to me. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. Is that, your first, is that your first video, Buck? What's that? Is that the first time you've been on video? That's the first time I've been on video. Oh, that was I've awesome. Buck and, uh, I have to say it was, it was worth it. Pretty exciting. Yes, sir. I'm glad you were along for the ride. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yep. Looks like Kansas has some really nice bucks and the LaMasta brothers have found the right spot. Congratulations, Cody, on a nice buck. Todd and I thank you for your service. From all of us at Ozark Traditions TV, we thank you for watching. And remember, if you see us out in God's country, stop us. We'd like to meet you. My family, who could ask for more? Planting seeds of passion like those who've gone before. Those are traditions in the great outdoors. Wandering down a riverbank or walking in a field. Hand in hand with my kid, it's not about the kill. Those are traditions in the great outdoors. Hunting with my family, who could ask for more? Planting seeds of like those who've gone before Those are traditions in the great outdoors Those are traditions in the great outdoors